Welcome back dear students. So as you can see here, today I have come with a new topic for you that is exponents. We have already finished the integers, the rational numbers, decimals, fractions, yes. And today uh, we are going to discuss, solve certain questions on exponents, okay. And this chapter is not new for you, already you have been introduced to this chapter in your 6th class. So just a brief introduction I would like to give. So what is multiplied to itself several times like for example if you take any whole number say 3 and you multiply 3 to itself several times then the short form of writing this will be what 3 to the power of 5 yes we have multiplied here 3 3 is multiplied to itself 5 times and so we are raising 3 to the power of 5 so just remember for as a revision this 3 to the power, it is read as 3 to the power of 5 and this 3 is called as the base and 5 is the power or the exponent or it's also named as index, okay. So, when a number is multiplied to itself several times, clear. So, this can happen for a rational number like this also, suppose minus 3 by 5 we are having. So, if you are adding minus 3 by 5 to the power of 3, what does it mean? It means that minus 3 by 5 is multiplied to itself 3 times. So this thing was already clear to you in 6th class, right? And besides that, before solving the numbers based on exponents, your idea should be clear about certain formulae that you had uh, learned in the 6th standard. Let me remind you about that. Like suppose a to the power of m multiplied to a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Remember, you recall, yes, the base is, if the base is same. If the base is same, this formula can be applied. Apart from that, we had also learned a to the power of 1 is equal to what? Any number having the power 1 is equal to the number itself. And a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And also we had learned a to the power of m whole to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied to n. So that is that can be written as a to the power of mn. Right? So this was uh, some general things that you had already uh, done in your 6th standard. Right? So, these formula are applicable. This first two, just as you can see here. Suppose, uh, let me give an example for you here. Suppose, uh, 2 to the power of 3 multiplied with 2 to the power of 4. So, obviously, how much you are going to get it? 2 to the power of 7. Because, base is same. The base should be same. Keeping the base same, you have to add the powers if they are multiplied. Likewise, the same happens. Suppose, you have two numbers like 3 to the power of 4 divided by 3 to the power of 2. So, it, it will be 3 to the power of 4 minus 2. So, that becomes 3 to the power of 2. And any number, suppose you take any number, suppose like 5 to the power of 1, that is equal to the number itself. 5 is, uh, th this means what? 5 is just raised to the power of 1. So, anything, any number to the power of 1 is a number itself. And any number to the power of 0 is equal to, sorry, is equal to 1. Any number to the power of 0 is equal to what? 1. And also, one more. Suppose you have a uh, you have a question like uh, 4 to the power of 3 whole to the power of 2. The first one, second one, third one, fourth one, I am coming to the fifth one. Suppose you have 4 to the power of 3 whole to the power of 2. In that case, you are going to multiply these two. That means it becomes what? 4 to the power of 6. Okay? Besides, one word is left out. That will be needed here. A to the power of minus n. Suppose a base is having a negative power. In that case, if you write the reciprocal of the base, if you write the reciprocal of the base, yes, the power becomes what? Positive. If the power is negative, it becomes positive. And if it is given this manner, you can convert it back 
to a negative power in this manner. Like suppose one example let me give you. Suppose you have a number like uh, 7 to the power of minus 3. That means what? It is equal to 1 by 7 to the power of 3. Or suppose if you got a question like 1 by 5 to the power of 2. So you can write it as 5 to the power of minus 2. If you want to bring this 5 to the power 2 in the numerator, you have to just convert the convert the power to minus. So that was what the entire thing you have learned in 6th class. Or is some things maybe new for you here? So do remember this formula. This will help you in solving all the numbers based on exponents. Okay. So very quickly let us come to the various questions. The first question is what? Express in exponential form. Suppose you are given uh, questions like uh, minus 1. Let's take first question quickly. The question is express in exponential form. Express in exponential form. Some numbers are given to you like uh, for example uh, express um, minus 1 5 into 12. Okay. So you know very well that you have in this in this format uh, here I have taken a rational number. Okay. Let us take one simple number first. Let me take 16. So if, if you are asked to express 16 express 16 as the power of 2. Express 16 as a power of 2. That means what are you going to do here? How many times will you multiply 2 to get 16? Obviously, you know, you have to multiply 2 4 times to get 16. So, the answer will be what? 2 raised to the power of 4. In this case, you can simply write to the power of 4. Because 2 to the 4 to the 8. So, 2 multiplied 4 times will give us how much? 16. Is it clear? Now, in this case, you see when you have a fraction or a rational number, then in that case, both the numerator and the denominator should be raised to the same power. You cannot raise uh, each other with a different power because you are asked to raise them with the same power in the question, right? So in this case, what you can do here, if a student wants, he can get the answer as minus 1 by 8 whole to the power of 3 or minus 1 by 2 whole to the power of 9. Both are correct in this case. Because if you multiply 8 3 times, you are going to get 512. And you multiply minus 1 3 times. Minus 1 multiplied 3 times means what? Here, here we are having, you remember the integers? When we are having odd number of minus signs, the answer will be always negative. And you have a negative one here. Yeah, right. So when you are multiplying, you have to take the power in such a manner that you should get a negative power, negative minus 1 here. Yes or no? So now here you are all, this is also correct because 1 raised to the power of 9. Minus 1 raised to the power of 9 will also give us minus 1. Because the power is 9, it is an odd number. Minus sign multiplied odd number of times will give us a minus. Real? Uh, it's clear? So, and to the power of 9, if you check it out, you will get how much? 512. So this is also correct. This is also correct. Okay. So let us come to the next type of questions. So, you have some questions like uh, in your exercises. Uh, now, find the value of, find the value of, find the value of. So, we'll do some questions on this, okay? The first question, 6 by minus 11 whole square multiplied to minus 11 cube, okay? And the second one also, let me write a question, we'll solve it together. Second one is, uh, let's take, uh, okay, minus 3 by 5 whole cube plus 7 by 25, okay, it is multiplied to 5 by 2 to the power of 3, okay. So, let's solve these two questions here. So, we'll come to the first question now. <coughs> Let us write the standard form. Okay, let us write the standard form that will be better for us. So instead of 6 by minus 11, I will write what? Minus 6 by 11. And minus 6 by 11 is, is uh, multiplied how many times to itself? 2 times. The power is how much? 2. So I will just expand it. In this case, 
some questions become easy when you expand and write and then cancel okay because you are having 11 here and 11 here you can easily cancel them yes or no so minus 6 by 11 multiplied to minus 6 by 11 yes because it is multiplied two times then multiply to minus 11 minus 11 minus 11 because the power of minus 11 is how much 3 now easily we can cancel 11 11 and this 2 11 we can easily cancel out now let us multiply so after multiplying 6 to 36 uh, how much you are going to get here 396 yes 396 yes and common the number of minus signs 1 2 3 4 5 how many minus signs we are having okay so negative uh, if you are having what uh, if you are having uh, odd number of minus signs the answer will be what negative i think the idea is very clear yes let us come to the second question now it's like this so now here you can see uh, in this in this uh, question you are you are adding these two uh, numbers right these two fractions this is a rational number this is a fraction both are rational numbers so you are going to add these two so in this case one thing is better if you are you, you are you have to solve these two first so you have to in this case instead of expanding what you are doing you are going to find the value okay so three minus three multiplied three times three into three into three three multiplied three times will be how much twenty seven and minus sign Multiply 3 times, odd number of times will be minus 27. So, minus 27 by 5 plus 7 by 25, sorry. It will be 125 because this power is for whole. So, 5 multiplied 3 times, 125. Okay, 7 by 25. Then we have here 5 multiplied 3 times will be 125 and this will be 8. Very simple. Now, let us add it in a simple manner as we are adding it. So, obviously, the LCM will be 125 here in this case. So, 125 multiplied to 1 minus 27 and then with 5, 5 multiplied to 7, then again here 125 by 8. Okay. So, now we have got here minus 27 plus 35 whole by 125 multiplied to 125 by 8 and then it becomes very easy. Yes or no? So, 15 minus 7 will give us 8 here. So, we are getting here how much? 8 by 125 multiplied to 125 by 8. Go back to integers. Still you are confused. Please go back to integers. So, now you got here how much? 1. Okay? It's as simple. Okay? So, you should understand by looking at the question in which manner you are going to solve it. Okay? So, quickly let us come to the next question now. All I find the value of or simplify okay the same thing only just you have to understand how to solve it okay let's take the next question now uh, question number three for today 12 square minus 5 cube multiplied to minus 1 to the power of 40 divided by 19 okay so now what I am going to do here, just look at it, 12 to the power of 2 is what? 12 multiplied to 12. The square of 12 is 144, right? So 144 and 5 to the power of 3 is 5 multiplied 3 times, that is 125, okay? And once again you see here in the base, the base is how much? Minus, it's a negative number. But minus sign is multiplied how many times? 40 times, 40 is an even number. So, 1 multiplied as, as many times, even 1000 times or lakh time you multiply 1, you will get 1 only, right? So, 1 is there and it's a positive 1 because see the, look at the power. Whenever you get a question like this, look at the power because 1, answer will be 1. But minus 1 or plus 1, that, you, that what will decide? The power will decide. It's an even number, so 1 by 90, okay? So, now easily we can subtract it. So, it's 14 minus 5, it's 9. So, we are getting 19, yes, 19. Uh, yes, 19, then 1 by 19. So, easily, you are able to solve it. It's 1, right? Now, again, some more questions we can build the solving. Okay. Now, very simple ones. This is the formula that I explained you just right now. Uh, like, uh, question number 4. 
express express as an exponent of single number very easy it's very easy simple if you are uh, if you remember the formula you will be able to do it very simply like some question that is take from here you have a uh, 6 power of 5 first one second one let us take uh, a to the power of 2 a to the power of 3 a to the power of 4 And then we have uh, one more minus five to the by nine to the power of four multiplied to minus five by nine to the power of twelve. Okay, so these are the questions. So the question is what express as an exponent of single number. Exponent of single number, isn't it? Yes. Now there are exponents of different numbers, more than one number. So you know that. when there is no sign in between it's multiplied so what is the power of 6 here what is the power of 6 no power if there is no power mentioned then the power is how much 1 and what is the power of this 6 5 and both are the same bases remember a to the power of m multiplied to a to the power of n you have to add the power so it's simply 6 to the power of 1 plus 5 that is equal to 6 to the power of 6 very simple text also Eight, this three eight are multiplied. Yes or no? Base is same. The powers are different. Simply write the common base here. Add the powers. Two plus three plus four. This one step you have to write here. Two plus three plus four. So it's how much? Eight to the power of nine. Yes. Now we have your same base again. It's a rational number. You can see minus five by nine to the power of four. Minus five by nine to the power of twelve. Base is same. So just add the powers. The answer will be. Minus five by nine, four plus twelve to the power four plus twelve. It will be minus five by nine, whole to the power of sixteen. Okay, as simple. Now let's come to the next category of questions. Just remember the formula. It will be easy for you when you go on solving the questions. Okay, so now let's uh, let's take some more numbers. Um, yes, question number four. Ten to the power of five, whole to the power of two. Then you have minus two to the power of three, whole to the power of four. And then you have one uh, by ten to the power of six uh, whole to the power of two. Okay, anything? Yes, yes. So now this is the this is based on which formula? Just recall. Yes, this one. A to the power m whole to the power of n. So m n multiply find the product of both the parts. Is it? It's very simple. In that manner only you're going to do. So ten. Five twos are ten. It's ten to the power of ten. Very simple. It's minus two to the power of three multiplied to four is how much? Twelve. And then it's one by ten. Six multiplied to two will give us how much? Twelve. Okay. Just use this formula here, and then easily you can express it. Let's come to question number five. Question number five. Let us. Uh, <coughs> Same question only. Express a single uh, with a single exponent. You have to express. Uh, let me write down the question, please. Try to understand each and every step. Okay. Concentrate, everyone. Don't be over confident and don't be under confident also. Okay. The same manner you can do this also. Yes. Same question. Okay. Same formula. Right. Now here. Five twos are ten. Four nines are thirty-six. So you have got ten as a power here, and thirty-six as a power here. Base is same. So three to the power of ten plus thirty-six will give us how much? Three to the power of forty-six. This is the answer. Very clear. Next question. Let us write down. Uh, for this week, only bit number two. This is bit number one. Okay. Let's take one more question from here. Okay. This is okay. Minus one by three 
to the power of 2 to the power of 3 multiply 2 minus 1 by 3 to the power of 4 all to the power of 5. Clear? The same formula you are going to apply in this case also. Very simple. Minus 1 by 3 is the base. Multiply the parts in this format. 2 multiplied to 3 is, will give me how much? 6. Then minus 1 by 3. 4 multiplied to 5 will give me how much? 20. Yes? Now the base is same. Which formula are you going to apply here? This one. Base is same, add the powers, minus 1 by 3, write the common base, 6 plus 20. That will give us minus 1 by 3 to the power of 26, okay? Now let us take some other questions also, like uh, 3 multiplied to 2 to the power of 3, 4 to the power of 2, okay? And uh, another one, let us take... Minus 2 multiplied to 10 to the power of 3, 4 to the power of 2. And then we can also take bit number 3 as uh, 3 to the power of 7 multiplied to 1 by 3, whole to the power of 7. Bit number 4, 21 by 19 to the power of 4 multiplied to 19 by 7 to the power of 4. Okay? Yeah. So now, just let me, let me solve the first number for you. Uh, the first number is 3 multiplied to 2 to the power 3 whole to the power of 2. So what does it mean? See, you can do a, you can do it in two ways. Okay, you first you can solve the bracket. So what we are having in the bracket 3 multiplied to 2 to the power of 3 is how much? 8. 2 to the power of 3 is how much? 8. So then how much we are getting here? 24 to the power of 2. Yes or no? 24 to the power of 2 will give us how much? 576. Yes? Just check it out. It's 576. Okay. Then next, if a student wants, can also do in this manner. Like you can do it in this way. That is 3. The power of 2 is for 3 also. So 3 to the power of 2. Multiply 2. Now in this case, you have to follow that method. 8 to the power of m, 4 to the power of n. That formula you follow here. So, it's 2 to the power of 6, isn't it? Then that way you can find out it's 9 and 2 to the power of 6 will be around 64. Yes. So, we are going to get here 576. So, both methods are correct. You can follow any one and do it. Okay. Then let us come to the second question immediately. Sorry. Uh... The second question is, here also we can first solve it, minus 2 multiplied to 10 to the power of 3 is how much? 1000, whole to the power of 2, whole to the power of 2, yes, so that means how much we are getting here? Minus 2000 to the power of 2, so minus 2000 is multiplied 2 times here, minus 2000 is multiplied 2 times, so it's automatically how much we are getting here? Yes, minus into minus you will get how much? Plus or otherwise you can do in the second method that I have told you. Whichever is comfortable for you, you can do in that method. First you can solve the bracket and find like this. Okay, or otherwise minus 2 to the power of 2 multiplied to 1000 to the power of 2. That way also you can do it. Okay, whichever method you find comfortable, do in that method. Now next number, let's take 3 to the power of 7 we are having here in the bit number 3. Multiply to 1 by 3 to the power of 7. So that means what? It is 3 by 7, 3 to the power of 7. Multiply to 1 to the power of 7 is 1 only. And 3 to the power of 7, I have this written like this. In order to find out the value, it's easily cancelling out. It's equal to how much? 1. Right? Okay? I think the idea is getting quite clear with everyone. Very simple numbers you're having here. Now let's come to this one. Okay? So as you can see the number, they're both are multiplied. So it's better to expand here. Very simple, 21 by 19. How many times you will write? Four times. 21 by 19. 21 by 19. 21 by 19. Yes? 
then 19 by 7 4 times. Okay, so that becomes very easy for us now. Four, uh, uh, four nines we can cancel. Four nineteens, and then we are having a seven threes are, seven threes are, seven threes are, seven threes are. So how much we are going to get here? Eighty one. Multiply three four times, you get eighty one. Okay. So dear students, I think this is enough for today. So go through all the numbers and try to solve the numbers in your exercises so that the idea gets more clear and you become perfect, perfect in exponents, okay? So keep practicing, take care.